Chantal Wellard helping out. Wouldn't have to be your last day by any chance, would it? How are Rio and Roxy taking it? I hadn't told them yet. Would you like me to talk to them? No. no. It's not easy moving out, but you're doing the right thing moving in with your dad. You're leaving? Wow, you kept that quiet. And I'm sure she'd like to keep it that way, young lady. OK, Bossy Boots. My lips are sealed. Oh. Another success story. Days like this, I just love my job. Yeah, and then we go and ruin it by coming back. Well, that's your choice, Justin. Your dad didn't throw you out, you left. He wanted me out of the way. Well, that's where you're wrong, because he's coming to see you today. Sorry, I'm busy all day. This is what you're letting yourself in for. Dad's useless. Don't do it. I'm not you, Justine. Suit yourself. Your funeral. It will be when I tell Rio and Roxy. I was sending love notes to my teacher again, forget it. Uh, no, I, I, I need someone to have their photos taken for um, a, a brochure thingy. And of course you thought of me. The photographer will be here in an hour. Great, I'll go make myself more beautiful if it's possible. Chantal's on her way out. Turn up, turn up. Oh, yes. Goodbye, well old word domination. Hello, freedom. Hey, Rox, what are you doing? What does it look like? Going down crash tires. Why? Why not? I'm going to try and get us two tickets to the Darkness gig next week. Great. Don't sound too excited. I'm sorry, it's just I can't go. You're not going with that fat idiot from school, are you? No, I won't be here. I'll be in Somerset. My dad wants me to go live with him, and I've said yes. Does Rio know? Do you want to go mad? Never guess who's leaving Chantel. What's the weather like? <laughs> sun, sun, sun. Hotel only three stars, though. Camp is so tight. She's off doing a painting class with some bloke she's gone starry-eyed over. But don't worry, it won't last. I'll get rid of him faster than you can say Tutankhamen. Doing. To be honest, I have no idea. Has Chantel talked to you? Yeah. And are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Hey, how 
cross a bat, we organise a leaving party for her. Come on, we could pick a cake. Do you hate her that much? Oh, ha, ha. Come on. It'll be fun. Whatever. <sighs> Come back, Duke. All is forgiven. Oh, yes, the king. Best of free. Put it there. So, how are you feeling? Great, why? Bit of a surprise you're moving out. Don't bother me. Hey. I thought you were that close. What? Me and Justine? No. Well, who then? Chantal. What about Chantal? Sorry. Justine heard her say she was going to live with her dad. Well, Justine heard wrong. You're right. It's probably just gossip. Yeah. If Chantal was leaving, she'd have told me. Same again? No, thanks. I'm not in the mood. Rio. Well done, Crash. I thought as it's the front cover, I'll go for, like, a moody yet vulnerable look. What do you think? Where's the photographer? Oh, uh, well, um, <clears throat> actually, Justin, uh, that was a bit of a teeny-weeny white lie. Hello, Liv. You stitched me up. We need to talk. Bye, Parrot. Justine. Oh, and while I'm at it, where do I file a complaint against my social worker for lying? You're being unfair. You're the one being unfair, placing me with some spotty dog walker. He's not a dog walker. He's my nephew and your cousin. Yeah, well, he stinks. Thanks for telling me. I didn't know how to. Everyone's pointing and laughing. Rio's the last to know. It made me feel great. I'm sorry. Some loser wants to play happy families and you can't get away fast enough. He's my dad. He wants to try again. He's useless. All our dads have been useless. That's why we're here. I'll come visit. Don't bother. I never want to see you again. Emma. When I was young, I had a dog. And when my brother left home, he took it with him. It broke my heart. But I was tough. I pretended not to care. Mike, I'm fine. Okay, but you know where I am. If you need to... Did Chantal tell her she was leaving? Yeah. You knew you didn't tell me. She's the one who's leaving. She should have told you herself. I know this is tough. But this is a really good opportunity for your sister. How's about you help us finish off Chantal's sponge cake? Come on. You can stick the stupid cake. It's horrible. Just like everything else in this stupid kid's home. Horrible, horrible, horrible! I brought some of your stuff. Couldn't wait to get rid of me, could you? You asked me to bring it. That brings back good memories. Does it? It was a great holiday. A great family holiday. We could go again, you know, all of us. Give you a chance to get to know John. I don't want to get to know John. Oh, Justine, what was I supposed to do? He didn't have anywhere to stay. I, I, I can't just let him down. No, it's just me you do that to. Justine, please. I'm begging you. Come home. Not until he's gone. Fine. I hope you and Mr. Mongrel are very happy together.
Just think, no more being bossed around by this stupid well ass. We can do what we want, when we want. Tell them exactly what we think. Rock's gonna be so brave now there's only two of them. And tell exactly who's boss. Me. The worlds are finished. She's standing right by me, isn't she? <laughs> Watch it, wolf boy. Anyone seen Rio? He's in the garden. Chantel's having a leaving party. Two o'clock. Be there. Glad me to answer to. Fancy dress? You know what, Marco? That's not a bad idea. I can't believe she chose him. Maybe he's sorry. Then why don't you just buy your stuff? She doesn't have to move in with him. Well, she wants to be part of a family again. She has a family. Me and Roxy. Oh, but this is different. It's a chance to get out of here and have a normal life. Listen, she'll always be a sister, wherever she is. No one can take that away from you. Don't tell me hay fever. No, chopping onions. Right. Must have been some onion. Chantal can't go. She's the only family we've got. Oh, it's okay. It'll all work out. Well, like it did for you. Point taken. I'm sorry. It's just... I'm scared Chantal will forget about us. I was told the Wellers weren't scared of anything. Don't worry. Your dad'll be here soon. I thought you said you didn't want to see me again. Well, I was wrong. And I'm sorry. At least you feel something. Roxy's behaving like she couldn't care less. I do care, she said I didn't know what to say. Everything sounded dead soppy. <laughs> it's okay, I like soppy now and again. Justine, your dad said to give you this. I'll throw it in the bin, I don't want Justine, it. Justine, just keep it. Everyone, I thought it was supposed to be a party. Doesn't matter. We don't need anyone else. We've got each other. You taking the mick? No. We thought it'd give Chantelle a proper well out send off. So, what do you reckon? Do we pass? <laughs> My long lost relatives. Don't mess with me. I'm a well out. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Marco. You know what? I can't go. Of course you can. We're family. We always will be. Um, Chantal. Everyone, this is my dad. Hi. Hi. Hey, you. Baldy, look after her. Or you'll have us to deal with. We're the Wellards. And we, we know, know where we you live. live. Well, you, stick around. There's more beaker to come. Don't you just love breakfast at the Dumpy Brown? Daily feast of luxury and sophistication. You don't have to be here. But if I wasn't, I'd miss all the fun. Oh, oh. sorry, Justine. It's called cool, Becky. It's Rebecca. Whatever. On the edge, Crash. Go on, Crash. OK, everyone. Who wants to come outside and meet the new arrivals, eh? <laughs> Meet our new residents. Wow, it's really cute. No. Hey, Justine, he's got your nose. Yeah, but well, he's got your bum ribs. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? He hasn't got one. We can call him West Ham. West Ham. Yeah. Right. I found an egg. I found an egg. Mike, whatever's going on? Well, Duke has already given us a fabulous vegetable patch. I thought I'd take it one step further. <laughs> We're going to have fresh eggs for tea. And bacon. <laughs> you might have told me. Well, they can't stay here. They're going to ruin my open date. So, what open date? The one I organised as head care worker. A, a, a temporary head care worker. Thanks a lot for telling me. Well, I'm sorry, but I forgot. Anyway, it's going to be very low-key, so I just need everybody to help me set everything up. After all, Mike, children in care need foster parents, and foster parents need to know that children in care are just... Well, ordinary children. Now, who's going to help? Oh, 
All clear. We are doing the right thing, aren't we? We don't look kind of sad. Yeah. How would you like being cooped up? I wouldn't. Betty misses his family too. Yeah. He hasn't even got any mud to roll in. Ready to set him free? Ready. Free piggy! Biscuits, mate. Oi, oi, oi. Biscuits? I hope. Not bad. Thanks. For once. Can we help, Mike? Oh, thanks. Go on, then. Look, look, just stir that for me, will you, while I uh, find the book. Glad to be of assistance. What are you up to? Well, Leo, sugary biscuits so bad for your teeth, put salt in instead. But then they'll taste horrible. Exactly. But what if some nice people turn up? Get real. But if they did, we could leave you and have a real family. Like Chantel. It's just you and me now. Got it? Yeah. I got it. Good. We're going to make this an open day they'll never forget. seen Duke's cookbook. Second gate on the left. Oh. Ow! Shouldn't he be outside with all the other ones? No, he's a guard chicken. Oh, guard chicken. Right, one hour and counting. Plenty of time for us to smarten ourselves up. Which one do you think, Mike? Well, uh, uh, the green one would go lovely with your eyeshadow. It's for you, silly. Elaine, people aren't going to want to see Mike in a tie and us all poshed up. I want to see what fostering is really like. Just chill out, will you? And I suppose you're the expert, are you? Compared to you, pea brain, anyone is. Uh, right, 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 now, we have got no time for this today. Now, why don't you two just make yourselves useful for a change and help me set up an information desk? Information, information desk? Oh, just do it! <laughs> are you doing? Come on, Roxy. This is our chance for something. Somewhere better. No one's gonna foster you because you're wearing your best shirt. It's just you and me now. Well, hard double triple. Close the door, close the door, close the door. That was close. Now what do we do? Walk him. Pigs are really clean animals. Cleaning the some of the kids around here anyway. <laughs> We better get something to clean it up. <laughs> Maybe a protective suit with a gas mask. Um, Layla, you uh, uh keep an eye on him. No thanks. Chalmers, fostering consultant and child care expert. Do sit down. Oh, please. 
I'm sure I'll be able to tailor make a fostering solution to suit your individual requirements. Thank you. That's very kind, Miss Chalmers. We'd really like some more information on fostering. Of course. Coming right up. You're such a creep. The unfortunate truth is, some kids aren't suitable for fostering. They can't even get on with their own parents, let alone anyone else. We couldn't stand the smell. Oh, come on, we better find him. <coughs> Good afternoon. My name's Rio. Hello, Rio. You look smart. Thank you. I like to look clean and tidy. I'm a quiet boy on the whole, but I've got a very good sense of humour. He has. He's hilarious. And my sister, Roxy. <laughs> and I really enjoy family outings. My hobbies are... Cooking. Have a biscuit. We made them. <laughs> They make you fat. You can't have them. I I'll get you some nice ones. That's all right, Rio, dear. We're not hungry. <laughs> and, uh, do you live here too? Not for long. I'm planning to touch the place. <laughs> Finale, let's check on my love to be careful. Well, take it then. They were nice. They could have been our chance again, haven't they? They were nice. Oh, stop whining. Yeah. I've had enough of you. You ruin everything for me. Piggy, 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 come on, pig. Oh, West Ham, come on. Come on, pig. We found him. I'm puffed out. Dragon, we should just give up and put him back in his pen. Don't worry, I got a flat. just don't like me, and I don't like them. No one's ever going to foster me, are they? Couldn't bear it if we got split up. It's bad enough for Chantal gone. I miss her too. I'd really like a family, Roxy. But I'd never leave you without you. Because you were then, which I'd be like our first. Lady, are you sure about this? You look beautiful. Hello, you lame boy, ex-social worker and head care worker. Hello. Uh, uh, not going so soon, are you? I've got some leaflets. Uh, perhaps you'd like a guided tour. We're well, quite all right, thank uh, you. I'm, I'm, I'm sure this little one would love a brother or sister. <laughs> We didn't like seeing West Ham cooped up. It's cruel. And chickens have feelings too. You're right. And they're probably nervous wrecks by now. A bit like a lane. 
You lot are dangerous individuals, and these animals need protecting. So first thing tomorrow morning, they're all going back to the farm. For a bit of peace and quiet. Which is just what we need. Come on, up you get. Oh. Tracy, what are you doing here? Ask them. That one's chucking me out. Please, don't be like this. I love you. I just want you to come home. Honest. So, looks like you won't get your own set of keys after all. Didn't you hear? She wants me, so you better just go. Tracy, I never said that. I want you both in my life. You know what? Forget it. Have your stupid boyfriend and stay in here. And you look cannot bog off too! Oh great. Just when you thought life couldn't get any worse, Beaker's back. <laughs> 